Hey everyone, Don with Brazier Toneworks and thanks for watching. Today's video is a correction video for one that was done earlier by me with dual humbuckers, uh, master volume, master tone, and some coil splits. Inadvertently I had shown the coil splits wired wrong, so I'm going to correct it in this video here. Okay, starting out we have our standard components, two humbuckers. We are going to need four wire humbuckers. We cannot do this with just two wire humbuckers. We've got our two pots. We're going to need a push-pull pot, and we're going to use that on our tone control. We're going to have our three-way selector switch, obviously our output jack, and a capacitor. As always, I go over the identifiers of the different lugs to make it easier for you guys to follow the videos. On the three-way selector switch, the common is S1. Then on either side, I have an S2 and an S3, and in the center is the grounding lug. For our pot, the normal lugs are L1, 2, and 3. 2 is always obviously in the middle. And for our DPDT switch, they are A1, 2, and 3, and then B1, 2, 3. Okay, we always start with grounding. I always use the volume pot as my central grounding point. You'll notice that your volume pot always has L3 grounded, so make sure you do do that. On our three-way selector switch, we're going to take a wire from our G lug, which is the grounding lug, and go to the top of that volume pot. We're also going to ground the top of the tone pot back to the volume pot. Now you'll notice that the DPDT switch also needs to be grounded. So we're going to be grounding lugs A3 and B3 of that switch to the top of the tone pot. And lastly, we're going to take a wire from the top of our grounding point, the volume pot again, and that's going to be our ground wire going to the ring portion of our output jack. Now since we're here, we're going to finish up the output jack. We're going to take a wire from L2 of the volume pot and go to the tip portion of the output jack. Now since it's a master volume, we'll only have one capacitor. We're going to take one end of the capacitor and ground it to the top of the tone pot. And the other end, that lead is going to go to L2 of the tone pot. Now to wire up the switch to the volume pot, we're going to go from S1 on our three-way switch. It is the kind of common switch lug, and that's going to go to L1 of the volume pot. Then we're going to take a jumper from L1 to L3 of the tone pot. And remember, the tone pots and the volume pot are inverted here, but the numbering scheme that I use is the same. So L3 is really what you're connecting to on the tone pot and L1 on the volume pot. Now it's time to wire up the pickups. I always use the Seymour Duncan wire color codes in my drawings. If you have a different manufacturer, you need to convert the wire color codes for your pickups to the ones I use from Seymour Duncan. So starting with the neck pickup, we're going to take the hot or the black wire and we're going to go to S3 of our three-way selector switch. The green and the bare are our ground wires, so those will go to the top of our volume pot. The red and the white are our coil splits, so we're going to put those, in this case, we're going to go to B2 on that DPDT switch that's off of the tone pot. Now the bridge pickup is going to be pretty similar. We're going to take the hot and we're going to go to S2 on our three-way selector switch. The green and the bare again are our ground, so those will go to the same point on the top of our volume pot. The red and the white, the coil splits, are going to go to A2 on that DPDT switch off the tone pot. And that's it. We're done. What we have right now is a dual humbucker with a three-way selector switch, master volume, and then we have a master tone, and off that master tone is a push-pull pot that allows us to split the coils for both the humbucker and the bridge. However, they're both split at the same time. Now, if you want to do independent switching where you can split the bridge independent of the neck, you would do it like this. So it's going to look very similar to what we've been doing. We're going to have a push-pull pot on our volume pot, and we're going to take the red and the white, which are our coil splits again for our bridge pickup. We're going to run those to A2 of that switch, remembering to ground A3. Now what this does is it allows you to split the bridge pickup independently from the neck pickup. Well, there you go. Hopefully this has cleared up some of the issues that uh, arose from my previous video where I had the coil splits wrong. Again, it's a very simple mod allowing you to decide if you want to split those humbuckers together or if you want to split them independently. I appreciate you guys watching. If you do have any questions on this or any of my other videos, please email me at braziatoneworks at gmail.com. And remember, tone, it's not just a knob, it's sound advice. Thanks.